deadline to implement the controversial border arbitration ruling between Croatia and Slovenia has expired. Prime Minister Andrej Plenković commented on the ongoing dispute during yesterday's final cabinet session of 2017. The Prime Minister once again pleaded with Slovenia to avoid any unilateral moves to implement the ruling that ceded significant gains to Slovenia on land and at sea. Meanwhile, Croatian and Slovenian fishermen are operating around the contested area with surveillance by police patrols from both countries. Speaking on Slovenian television, reporter Marta Razborsek reminded that the government had already implemented a range of laws to enable the implementation of the border ruling. She also said that Frontex, the European Border and Coast Guard Agency, has recognized the controversial maritime border. Meanwhile, Croatian law professor Vesna Crnic Grotic said both countries were at a standstill, as Slovenia was not budging from the full implementation of the ruling. At the same time, the professor said she expected the European Commission to be more actively involved in reaching a mutually acceptable solution. According to the Croatian Statistics Bureau, in the third financial quarter of 2017, Croatia had 1,680,000 employed persons, or 54,000 more than the same period last year. At the same time, the number of unemployed persons fell to 166,000. Meanwhile, industrial output in October 2017 was up by 3.7% month-to-month and up 7.6% on the year. Following Sunday's brutal attack on three Croatian youths in the autonomous Serbian province of Vojvodina, the Ministry of Foreign and European Affairs sent a diplomatic note to Serbia calling on them to do more to protect their citizens regardless of nationality. Meanwhile, Serbia's ambassador to Croatia refused to accept the note saying the attack was not ethnically motivated. Also, the Serbian Ministry of Foreign Affairs believes Croatia is using the events in Vojvodina to paint a bad picture of an otherwise peaceful, multi-ethnic province. Gary Kasparov, the former undisputed world champion and perhaps the most famous chess player of all time, is back in Croatia today for a simultaneous tournament against some 20 opponents from Croatian public life. This will be the seventh such tournament by the former Grand Master to take place in Croatia. Kasparov, born in Azerbaijan, has held Croatian citizenship since 2014. Coverage begins at 6 p.m. on HRT3. Taking a quick look at sports, in EBEL Hockey League action from last night, Zagreb's Medvesh Chak defeated Austrian side Graz in Zagreb 3-1. This is the second consecutive win for newly appointed head coach Doug Bradley. In NBA basketball, Croatia's Dario Šaric had another excellent game for the Philadelphia 76ers with 25 points, 9 rebounds and 4 assists in his team's narrow loss to the Portland Trailblazers 114-110. And in regional ABA basketball league action, Zadar plays host to Macedonian side MZT tonight at 8 p.m. The weather forecast for this afternoon calls for mostly sunny skies throughout the country. The far south will have more clouds with the chance of light showers and snow in the hinterland. The Adriatic coast will get a moderate to strong northeasterly with gale force gusts in places. Winds in the far south will switch from a southeasterly to a northeasterly. Highs for the day will range between 1 to 7 degrees in the interior and from 8 to 11 degrees Celsius on the coast. The weekend forecast for the interior will be mostly sunny. New Year's Eve and New Year's Day will see more clouds and higher elevations with a chance of showers and light snow. The Adriatic will be noticeably cooler tomorrow morning with a chance of frost. Sunday will see cloudy skies along the northern and central coast with isolated showers in the greater Rijeka area.